a hundred Christians needed to change the spiritual temperature of this nation forever. Are you one of them? The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God for this end time. You don't have to be a pastor or someone in a leadership position in a church to be part of this great move of God. All you need is a genuine hunger for the kingdom of God to be established on earth. Pastor Sunday Adelaja, the pastor of the largest church in Europe, the Embassy of God, is initiating a move of God in this nation called the History Makers Bible School. The History Makers Bible School takes place only on one Saturday every month to equip you for the next level. It will also be a good opportunity to network with like-minded Christians. You will receive tried and tested keys to church growth and pastoring without tears at the Emmanuel Center, 9 to 23 Marsham Street, Victoria, London, Southwest 1P 3DW. Registration is £40 per session. To register, call 0798 114 6157 or email admin at hmbsuk.org or visit the website at www.hmbsuk.org. The next movement that I want to present is a club, club work with uh, children and uh, parents. A voluntarily city organization, the family plus success, is working through the club's movement. It is working in Solomonsky region of Kiev. They've created an, their own program, uh, the creators of the history. Their aim is to raise the children as the responsible members of the society. Our organization is taking an active part in the, in the regional um, activities. More than 3,000 people were touched through the clubs, through the consultants, through the thematical evening, through the summer camps, through the trainings, through the master classes, through the prophylactics and prevention programs. There are different clubs and directions working. There is a dancing club, there is uh, the decorative club and design, the drawing, the chess, the sewing, the athletic. And let me just tell you, friends, God is moving into the area of family and children. They're covering two schools, three schools and two educational centers. The director of the club is a professional psychologist. She is called very often to go and consult the parents. And so God is moving to the social areas. The next movement that I would want to introduce, and you see those wonderful boys dressed in Ukrainian clothes. They're all, Hallelujah. they're all black-skinned, but they're dressed in Ukrainian national uh, colors. They're the international organization that is called uh, the Truth. Um, this is the Interclub. This is the Interclub. Um, their task is to defend the foreigners, their anti-racism, Organization. The club was formed in the year 2008, but more than 1,000 people are the members of the Inter Club right now. Those are the people from the 50 countries. The leaders of the club are the 80 people who are actively involved uh, to morally support the foreigners in the educational centers, hospitals, jails. They are involved in the voluntarily social program, working in the orphanages and helping the adults and elderly people. There are many clubs and many directions formed in this club. We need to acknowledge that the people uh, who live in Ukraine, the foreigners who live in Ukraine, they are very lonely here. They have no friends, no family, but in this club, 
the people who come there, they meet the family, they gain the defense, they gain the freedom, they gain the love. This is their new family. And of course, when the people come to this club, whenever they get re rehabilitated, when they go to their countries, they are starting the movement like this. My name is Nadia. I would want to testify what God did in my life. I'm in Ukraine for three years already. I came here with my brother. As soon as I arrived to Ukraine, my brother was killed. The skinheads killed my brother. Uh, Twelve knife, knife cuts on his body. It was very painful. I cried and cried all the time. I hated the Ukrainians. When I saw Ukrainians, I hated them. I want, I loved the animals more than I loved the Ukrainians. But the glory of God worked uh, through the pastor Simon because of his training, because of his teaching through the Bible. God changed my heart when I acknowledged that God gave His Son to save the people. I had an anger. I had an anger as the elderly people would have, you know, like 80 years old lady would have. But now I want to glorify the Lord through the family who is standing here, the family that I I forgave. The family who killed my f my brother, I forgave them. The last time I went to the court, the people who killed my brother, one of them stood up and he started to beg for forgiveness saying, please forgive me, Nadia. And then the judge said, the judge asked me, what do you want to do with them? And the spirit inside of me said, because the uh, the Lord moved my heart to say that the the judge has to decide, and so I told the judge, only you can make the decision after the Lord. And so I want to thank the Lord. In my heart, I forgave those people. In this hall, uh, there are different people, and if something wrong was done to you, you need to acknowledge that the price was paid for you by Jesus Christ, and you have to start forgiving people too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You won't have enough time, so let the person give his testimony. Uh, friends, my name is Radion. I'm 27 years old. 
I graduated the foreign language uh, university. I always wanted to become a diplomat. I always had this desire. But before I came to the Lord, that I was a very unstable person. I was moved uh, by the winds from there to here into the different areas. But when I came to this church, the heart started to change, my life started to change. My life is getting better and better. And I can share about my life, about my family, about the career. I can, I can uh, testify many things about the great changes that are happening in my life. You see, for five years I'm in the church, my life is getting better and better. The testimonies of the pastor are reminded, you know what epilepsy is? This is the falling disease. Epilepsy, you know what epilepsy is, yeah, yeah, epilepsy, right. And so because of this disease, I was not able to be a normal part of the society. I was, I was never free to say this. Even when you go to job, you cannot say this. Other way, you will never work in this uh, organization. But God gave me the strength to go and um, fight for my rights. I found that I cannot be a teacher when I have this disease, but because I started to talk to the doctors, because I started to do well of myself, I received a freedom in this. And so I want to encourage you, if you have a problem, God is able to solve the problem. The main task of this organization is to popularize the healthy lifestyle. And also, and also to develop the youth organization, uh, this organization conducts different programs, life orientations, uh, they uh, conduct different quests, uh, they, uh, they make different club work, they work with parents and children, they make different tournaments, and the members of this organization uh, are the members of the ministry that work uh, with uh, people who are uh, drug addicts. And I want to say that uh, uh, they signed the, uh, the contracts with the uh, uh, health ministry. And you know, God is moving through young people. Hello, church. My name is Dmitry. Four years ago, I came from a small town to a big city town, and uh, I was studied in the institute. I was uh, living in a hospital. Uh, I don't know, I was living uh, in a district, Barshigovka, it's, uh, it's, it's a district in Kiev, and uh, I was, uh, um, I had different friends, and they were not good ones, and if I didn't come here, and I haven't heard that good principles, maybe I was uh, in the rehabilitation center now, but thank God that there are people, there are guys, who take care of young people and uh, they are spreading the good principles and of health life. Imagine, no one told me about God, but we, uh, uh, there was an exercise and it was, uh, it was such an exercise that I, I decided that I want, uh, um, I want to find God. I, could, I understood that I can't move without Him. Imagine I came myself to my leader and said that I want to go to church because I need to fill this spiritual life. And me and uh, 18 my friends went to the church and we repented and there was Pastor Natasha. And uh, now, a year and a half, I'm in this church and I serve God. And Every month, I influence on uh, 120 people, 
And I also conduct such exercises and trainings. And among these 120 people, 30 of them make a decision that they would be drug or alcohol addicted and they are seriously uh, moving, uh, following us. And I'm really thankful to God at this stage while I'm speaking. You know, they help parents. They are working through different clubs in different districts of Kyiv. And uh, it's really a teamwork. And through this social work, uh, they uh, help people. And they show that parents can live. They should, uh, they should believe in God, and the freedom will come. And the freedom first will come into your life, and then to your children's. And uh, uh, during this year, they uh, um, they taught, they touched uh, 1,000 people and present uh, a movement sport against drugs. We have such movement. It is a great movement, a big one. It is an organization that is directed uh, to prevent uh, alcoholism, uh, drug addictions and violence. And I want them to give a testimony. My name is Anatoly. Hello. I faced such problem when my parents uh, uh, were alcohol addicted and I had to live in such family, I had to organize my life myself. And when I grew up, I decided to, to escape from this, uh, from this problem. Once I watched uh, TV and uh, I saw uh, the leader of this organization, uh, Sport Against Drugs, and I decided that I want to join them. They were, uh, they were children who wanted to do sport and uh, to go in for sport, but uh, not everyone has such an opportunity. Uh, not everyone has money to, to go in for sport. And I decided to gather these guys and to to make a, a children team that will take part in different tournaments, different championships, and uh, and will win such presents and medals. I want to say that we will work with children who live in orphanages, in children, children's house, houses who don't have parents, who don't have uh, opportunities uh, to, to be trained. I want to say that we will do... Next, I want to present... I'd like to present the work with uh, elderly people. It is a movement, uh, Golden Autumn. During this time, this organization, there are more than 500 members in this organization, and every week, they touch more than 100 people, and you know, the elderly people or people of uh, Golden and Autumn are very active, they are even more active than young people, and uh, they work uh, uh, with, uh, different, uh, with elderly people, with uh, disabled people, they go to different centers and help disabled people, 
I want to present, present one uh, very young movement uh, that is called uh, a choice, a right of choice. It is a new embassy of God and uh, new movements are born here. And this organization is for people who have uh, uh, psychological problems. Uh, and they work with uh, people who have, uh, who have paranoia, epilepsy, depression, and they work with such people. Uh, hello, dear church. I want to add a little bit. Uh, we speak about uh, people uh, who have some problems, people who come to, uh, to our organization. They are not ill. We say that there is always a way out. That is why we differ from any other Santa. We don't say that they are ill. Our main task is we are the organization the right of choice and we are the part of the uh, international uh, international ministry and we are called the right of choice because every person has the right of choice it doesn't matter whether he is ill or not but it is his choice we say that he is with God and that is why he has his right of choice we saw that that creativity, the art, can help us to show ourselves, to show what we can't say sometimes. And our main uh, goal is to help such people to change the, uh, uh, to change thoughts of our society about such people because we treat them in uh, in a wrong way. We always divide normal people from normal, but God has His individual people, and everyone is pressed for Him. And our task is for our society to be a human one because it is the uh, main reason uh, why Ukraine can, uh, can't be in the European Union because we have such problem. Now we, uh, we, are, um, we are the member of the uh, health ministry and I believe that in this place we will be able to influence on our society. Praise God. Also, I want to present one movement that is the uh, uh, Youth uh, Ministry Schemes. Please come up here. The project Schemes uh, was created to unite young people to realize uh, uh, social and knowledgeable projects. And one of the tasks of this uh, team is to help young people to be successful and uh, the uh, creator of this uh, movement is to, uh, to be successful. There are two international organizations and eight people became members of different social lobbies in different ministries. What I want to say, you know, they are very active and they work with uh, children in, at schools. They work with parents. They work with children in their off uh, with children in orphanages. They make different actions, and uh, it's really glory to God because new people are raised up. That is why let us greet our God and give all glory to Him. Hallelujah. And pastor, of course, I wanted to say that it is only because of one personality, Jesus, who died for us. But what is happening here in Ukraine? What is happening with us? What is happening with every of us? It is the change of our mentality. And it is only because of you. And we want to thank you. And we want to present you a gift and flower. So let us greet our pastor, our spiritual father. It is for you, and it is also for you. And also, dear Pastor Sunday, we thank you for your unconditional love. 
for your father's support, for a lot of change in souls, for your devotion to God, and for your help to the nation of Ukraine, from your beloved sons and daughters. We also want to give you a gift. All the people who were at aim of the devil, all those people who the devil wanted to destroy, they're very creative people, and people, uh, and those people have made up a song, the song that says, God gave us a great honor, great honor to carry his good news, to carry up his good news, his truth, his right his cleanliness, his holiness. And so let us thank the Lord. Let this anniversary, uh, let this anniversary be a start of a new embassy where new sons and daughters will be raised. Thousands of them. Thousands of them. Hallelujah. Christians needed to change the spiritual temperature of this nation forever. Are you one of them? The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God for this end time. You don't have to be a pastor or someone in a leadership position in a church to be part of this great move of God. All you need is a genuine hunger for the kingdom of God to be established on earth. Pastor Sunday Adelaja the pastor of the largest church in Europe, the Embassy of God, is initiating a move of God in this nation called the History Makers Bible School. The History Makers Bible School takes place only on one Saturday every month to equip you for the next level. It will also be a good opportunity to network with like-minded Christians. You will receive tried and tested keys to church growth and pastoring without tears at the Emmanuel Center 9 to 23 Marsham Street, Victoria, London, Southwest 1P 3DW. Registration is £40 per session. To register, call 0798 114 6157 or email admin at hmbsuk.org or visit the website at www.hmbsuk.org. Whatever you do, don't miss this move of God. Call the number on the screen now to register. Remember, you are called for a time like this.